Well, so much emotion surrounding this anniversary from talking with people who were there then, who are still in the city today. Um, there's a feeling that a lot has changed, but a lot remains the same. Under a bright sun in the parking lot of South LA's Bethel AME Church, people came together to talk about what's gotten better in the past 30 years. I think the communication between African American community and the Korean American community has improved a lot. Uh, we're, continu we're continuously, uh, you know, having events together. And what has not improved? I mean, jobs in this community are rare. I mean, unemployment is rampant. And, you know, we, we just don't have a stake. The acquittal of the LAPD cops who beat Rodney King sparked the riots. More than 60 dead, thousands injured, a billion in property damage. Day three of six, Rodney King made this famous plea. People, I, um, I just, I just want to say, you know, can we, can we all get along? Can we, can we get along? Hello, everybody. Hello. 30 years later, his middle child, Laura, who started a foundation in his name, can't believe so many are still asking that same question. She had this advice. And I think if we all close our eyes and operate from a place of hope, of love, of listening to each other's voice and hearts, that's the place of love, not what we look like, right? right. Thanks for remembering. Part of the events marking the anniversary, a bus tour through South LA, the idea to show new developments and also show how much more needs to be accomplished. My strongest memory is being on the corner of Florence and Normandy right when it happened. And what was mentioned here was how the police were absent. Congresswoman Karen Bass, then an L.A. community organizer, now an L.A. mayoral candidate, believes the most important thing we've learned the past 30 years is... We have to always stay vigilant. That, you know, surveys have come out that said uh, people feel that the despair is reaching the level again, that we could have civil unrest again. Well, we need to take that as a warning. Strong words from Karen Bass, uh, Alex and Christine, saying essentially this could happen again. Is that possible? Of course, anything's possible. Would it unfold the same way? Absolutely not, because a little known sort of fact that's lost to history that you heard Karen Bass mention is that the LAPD largely withdrew from South LA. That wouldn't happen again. Live in South Los Angeles, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.